Okay, welcome to our Media Studies Revision Session with me, Terry Green, on Narrative Analysis. When analysing a media text, it is important to know the difference between narrative and story. A story is a sequence of events that tells us what happens. The story has themes which we must be aware of, like romance, family, war, etc. The narrative is the way that story is told. The narrative puts those themes in a context and underlines them for us by telling the story in a particular way. A good example of this is David Fincher's film, The Social Network. When analysing the narrative, you must take into account technical code, verbal code, symbolic code, structure, character and narrative conflict. So that's six things to remember. Technical code. This takes into account anything technical that goes into the narrative process. For example, sound, camera angles, design and editing. How does the choice of colour or camera angle make you, the audience, feel? A good example of this is Hitchcock's rear window. Verbal code. This is the way language is used, both written and spoken. How is language used to convey the story? Compare the language of a voiceover in a documentary with that of the voiceover in a film like The Shawshank Redemption. Symbolic codes. Symbolic codes are like clues within the narrative. For example, one of the characters may drive a broken down old car, suggesting perhaps the character is poor. A good example of this is The Sting. Structure. This is the good old beginning, middle and end. Most narratives can be summed up using Todorov's theory, which suggests all narratives follow a three-part structure. Equilibrium, the beginning, where everything is hunky-dory. Disequilibrium, the middle, where something goes along to disturb the equilibrium. And new equilibrium, the end, where usually our hero restores equilibrium. Superman Returns is a good example of this. Character. Okay, this is quite a complicated one and there's lots to remember in this, so we will tackle the detail in another revision session. Let's have a look at the basics though. Protagonist. This is a story's hero. Antagonist. This is the story's villain. Heroine. This could be a love interest for the protagonist. Father. An authority figure, often the one who rewards the protagonist for restoring equilibrium. Helper. Someone who helps the hero, often a sidekick. Donor. Gives the protagonist something to help them in their quest. A mentor, teacher and guide of the hero. M. Night Shyamalan's Lady in the Water is very good for explaining this. Narrative Conflict Claude Levi Strauss, a 20th century theorist, suggests that all narratives are moved forward by conflict and that this conflict is caused by opposing forces. So if, for example, rich and poor, love and hate, etc. A good example of this is Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. So remember, when studying narrative, you are looking at how the story is told through six different means. Technical code, verbal code, symbolic code, structure, character, narrative conflict. Happy analyzing.